Hello friends. Today I am going to discuss the second part of output device of computer system. In previous part we have discussed about monitor and printer. Different types of printer. Chain printer, daisy wheel printer, dot matrix printer. Now today we are moving forward for the second part. So let's we start. Today I am starting with the drum printer. A drum print, print, printer consists of a solid cylindrical drum that has raised character in band on its surface. The numbers of printer position across the drum equals the number available on the page. These number typically ranges from 80 to 132 print positions. The drum rotates at a rapid speed. For each possible print position there is a print hammer located behind the paper. These hammers strike the paper along the ink ribbon against the proper character on the drum as it passes. One revolution of the drum is required to print each line. This means that all characters on the line are not printed at exactly the same time, but the time required to print the entire line is fast enough to call them the line printer. Typically, speed of drum printer are in the range of 300 to 2000 lines per minute. The speeds are good. As you see that the drum printer is using the drum and on the drum there is the hammer embedded on it with the nozzle. That hammer will is hammered on the page and accordingly it will print. When it will move, the character will shuffle. And this shuffling with the types from 80 to 100, 32 typical ranges of position of the characters. They are touching the page and behind of the page there is the hammer which can strike. When the hammer will strike on the page, that embedded place, embedded part of the drum will rotating and this one is suppression on the page and accordingly it will print out with the nozzle and spreading on the spreading ink on the paper by hammering it. The speed is between 300 to 2000 lines per minute. As you see in the picture, next one is non-impact printer. As I was said that non-impact printer, they are not touching the paper with the hand. They are spreading the ink on the paper. First one is the inkjet printer in this category. Inkjet printers work in the same fashion as dot matrix printer in the for images or characters with little dots. However, the dots are formed by tiny droplets of ink. Inkjet printers form characters on paper by spraying ink from tiny nozzles through an electrical field that arranges the char charged ink particles into characters at the rate of approximately 250 characters per second. The ink is absorbed into the paper and dries instantly. Various color of inks can also be used. This printer produces less noise and prints in better quality with greater speed. Inkjet printer, we are using the ink by spraying with the tiny holes from their nozzle that is electronically charged particle which can be arranged the 
character arrange the place to spray the ink on the paper and by that they can print by approximate speed 250 characters per second as they are spreading the ink so that the quality of the output is better than the dot matrix printer or impact printer with the better speed and better quality as compared to the impact printer or different types of impact printer next printer is laser printers laser printers works like a photocopy machine as you have seen that laser printers produces images on paper by directing a laser beam at a mirror which bounces the beam onto a drum the drum has a special coating on it to which toner on an ink powder strikes using patterns of a small dots a laser beam conveys information from the computer to a positively charged drum to become neutralized from all those areas of drum which become neutralized the toner detaches okay that is the drum will available inside of the laser printer as you have seen in the toner and that drum where activate with the help of computer instructions by electronically charged and they will give the information they will go give the information to the printer and accordingly they will arrange the ink and passing with the help of laser beam and they will strike and strike on the page and papers roll on the drum the toner is transformed to the paper printing the letters or other graphics on the paper they will either printing the pay, uh, character or the graphics by electronically charged particles with the laser light and the roller will moving as you have seen in the toner they will print approximately 21000 lines per minute or 437 pages per minute if each pages contain 48 lines just imagine but when they are printing the graphics they will take time because they are using mooring and they will spreading the ink with the laser light to they will spread on the paper so it will take time but if the normal page will be there 45 to 43 40 lines are there they will print 437 pages per minute right if that laser printer have the better qualities right the next printer is thermal printer in thermal printer they are digitally printing process which produce a printed image by selectively heating coated thermochromic paper or thermal paper as it is commonly known when the paper passes over the thermal print head the coating turns black in the area where it is heated and produce an image they are thermally heated that ink and that thermally heated ink will strike or goes to the paper and then after it will print of on the special paper that is the thin paper selective paper and on that they can print as we see that that is the thermal printer they can more give the more heating on the page so that's why they are using the special type of paper and this type of printer popularly used at the restaurant 
you over there they are printing the bills the small printer is there in somewhere the institutions are also they are using the thermal printer the special paper they are there in the form of a rolls the next print next is another output device is a speaker but before going to the speaker i am telling you that the laser printer quality is better and it will take less time because during the printing they are also dried up the page in thermal also they are drying up but the character or the images which is printed on that one will contains more longer time longer period as compared to the thermal or inkjet you have seen the bills in shopping malls when you will leave it for 7 to 10 days things will be omitted but in laser printer 15 to 20 days it won't be omitted so i prefer the thermal prefer the laser printer now come to the speaker the another standard output device the speakers received the sound in form of electric current to sound format through the sound card it converts in digitalized or digital audio to the computer and via same channel it produce sound through speaker whatever we are speaking suppose we are using the mics and through the mics we are giving the input to the computer system they are passing through the electric current and they are changed with the help of sound card the hardware which is responsible for receiving and sending the sound signals and they are transfer the analog signals from electric current analog signal to the digital and digital to analog vice versa for the speakers only okay and accordingly we will get the output in the form of sound with help of with the help of speakers next one is the projector a projector or image projector as you also got is an optical device that project an image or moving image onto a surface commonly a projection screen most projectors create an image by shining a light through a small transparent lens but some newer type of projector can project the image directly by using lens laser laser light they will use different types of projectors are slide projector video projector overhead projector handheld projector movie projector projectors are a digital device which they are using the optical lights and the lights will come from the lens which is available on the projector and the image will emerge on the projection screen that is the special screen or you can make the special screen by your own that is the white board will be there and on that one you can get the clear image white painted or white coated board white place white area will be required as a projection screen a special type of projection screens are also there where people are using the stylus means that one will work as a input device also that is the overhead projector where the stylus can be work and normally the projector which we are using that one is not used as a overhead projector that is a simple projector it is an output device the image quality were differ in form of in different uh, form of projector slide projector video projector overhead projector handheld projector and movie projector movie projectors 
qualities are much better than these different types of projectors. Slide projectors are used to project the slides. We are using the slides means piece of negative films that one is passing in front of the projected lights, optical lights behind the lens and that is emerged on the projection screen and accordingly we will see the picture. Video projector is popularly we have seen that and available in the market from low range to the high range. Their price were vary or price were depends on the life of the lens. Lens is the responsible for the quality and long lasting life. So that's why the projectors are available from low range to higher price ranges. It is also an output devices and portable output devices. The next one is plotter. Plotter is another type of output device where the output will come on the paper and they will not be striking on the page by the help of laser light or by the hammering. They are plotting with the pen, a special type of pen with the toner. And this is the difference between plotter and printer. A plotter is a computer hardware device much like a printer, but not as exactly same as printer. That is used for printing vector graphics means vertically pen will be there with the toner and they can draw on the paper instead of toner plotter use a pen or a special pencil or the marker or another writing tools which has been used sometimes i have seen that the knife a very sharp knife will be there which can cut on the page and they will print or they will make the graphics that is the sticker and we will pasting on the different places that is the plotter you have seen in different places where the modification of bikes has been done bikes or cars or motors they are using that type of plotter or modified printer though once widely used for computer added designing these devices have more or less been phased out by wide format printers. Plotters are used for used to produce a hard copy of schematic and other similar application. Normally that plotter were used by the computer added designers, those who are making the graphics on the paper or the different output materials. A plotter differ from a printer in that it draws the images using a pen, pencil or marker or another writing tools that can be lowered, raised and moved across the paper to form continuous lines. They are forming the continuous lines, the joint lines across the paper and drawing on that. Plotters are of two types, drum plotter and flatbed plotter. So let's see the drum plotter. As a drum plotter, the pen is moved in a single pixel track and the paper itself move on a cylindrical drum to add the other axis or dimension means that pen or pencil or other writing device or components which is available in a drum printer they are using the pixel line by line pixel they are drawing on the page moving with the axis the same dimensional they are printing horizontally, plotting horizontally. Drum plotter is used to produce continuous output such as plotting earthquake activity 
or for long graphics outputs such as a structural view of a skyscrapers they are continuously making the print out as you have seen in the different movie they are plotting the graphs that is up and down lines with the help of a needle it is or you can say that it is an example of drum plotter you can assume as similar way that can be print horizontally line by line striking on the page writing on the lines flat bed plotter as you see in the picture this graphic plotter we are using the flat surface just like a beds in that one initially we will maximize the dimension of the page then after we will use this flat bed printer where the pen will placed on the surface and then after they will use the graphics on the page that length of the page means dimension of the page is bigger than the drum plotter as compared to the length and width means more wider plotting will be done with the help of flat bed plotter now the next one is webcam webcam is another output device it is a digital device which is used by the users for online conversation normally or video conferencing this output device we are connected with the computer system via usb and they will get the image record the videos and post it in the computer system and whenever it is required for live posting of image with audio and video then it will work as a webcam and due to the online conversation this camera is called as a webcam otherwise it works as a conventional camera that is a digital camera which we are using in the mobiles and other digital uh, uh, different types of digital cameras we are using it is very similar to that but it one is used for the web for better performance of the camera with the help of computer system and it captures the real time images means actual images but by virtual processing by the help of light detectors so that's why it is known as the light detectors charged couple device right light detectors they are having the light detector so that's why we can getting the uh, uh, real one real time means online images we are getting and as i said that this type of camera we were use for the online conversation and some of these devices these type of webcam having in built microphone without microphone and microphone both are available in the market as per our need we can use that so that's why this one is used for calling also video calling as i said that video conversation this one is workable mic will be there so that's why it is used that's it that's it for the conclusion of the 
output devices of computer system thank you thank you very much for watching the second part of the output devices of computer system